Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the WPLMS Theme Setup Wizard. So once you have downloaded the theme package from Theme Forest, if you simply unzip the theme package, you will get a WPLMS package folder. Now in the unzipped folder, you will see a WPLMS.zip file which is the theme file and the child themes which are located in the child themes folder. So in our WordPress setup, we'll go to appearance themes section and we'll upload the theme, which is the wplms.zip file. And then we'll click on install now. Note that if you get any error while uploading the theme, like, are you sure you want to do this? It appears because the upload limit of your server is less than the theme size. So the theme size is roughly 26 MBs. So you need to make sure that your web host supports uploading up to 26 MBs. So once you have uploaded the theme, you can activate the theme. Upon activation, you'll see a WPLMS setup wizard. We'll see a configuration check area, which shows that the PHP memory allocation should be 128 MB. Similarly, the PHP time limit should be close to 200. Note that these are recommended settings and they also depend upon your server speed. So since this is a local install, lower values will also work fine and we click on let's go so in the start area we'll see the features which we can select for our site so first is the learning management suite which includes the course management student management instructor management the certificate badges quizzes etc second is the e-commerce which allows you to sell your courses the third is the slider Similarly, we have events, drive, discussion forums, gamification, memberships, badges, etc. You, from here, you can select the features which are required for your site. And then we can click on continue. So when we click on continue, based on the features selected in the previous step, will be displayed the plugin list. And we can click on continue. So when we click on continue, these plugins will be installed and activated simultaneously. So note that if you see any Ajax error while activation of the plugin, then it is then the error can be ignored. This is because these plugins are trying to redirect you to a custom page on activation, which we are stopping because the activation and installation is happening in the background. So if you're getting the Ajax error, then no need to worry. You can simply ignore this error. So once all the plugins are installed and activated, we'll be re redirected to the pages section. So this is one of the most important part of our WPLMS site setup wizard, because in the background, it will configure all the settings which are required for WPLMS to run. So next is the update. So to Enable automatic updates, you can log in via Envato. And then you'll need to approve. So next is the style section. From here, you can choose any of the six new demos for your site. So for example, we'll choose the demo one for this, for this site. And we click on continue. So based on the style selected, we'll be presented the content for import. So note that some of the fields are already disabled. This is because we did not select the features in the start section. For example, we did not select the events. So the events checkbox is appearing as disabled as the events sample data will not be imported in the current setup. So we can simply click on continue and, and the demo data will automatically install in the current site. So once all the data has been set up, you will reach the design section. 
here you can upload a new logo by uploading the logo to the media library and you can select and the and change the theme primary color and the text color which appears on the primary color so you can configure the theme skin primary color and text color based on your requirements and click on continue now we have completed our site setup wizard and it's time to check our site so as you can see our installation is complete and we get the site just like the displayed in demo since we did not activate all the plugins it is possible that our menus have links which basically point out to some other pages which you can change anyway from the customize menu section or from the appearance menu section easily that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching